Hi, welcome to the last video of this subject, Validity and Inference Theory. This is one of the most important topic, so concentrate and learn carefully. A statement is logically valid if its implication is tautology. Predicate statements with quantifiers are similar to the propositions. So it follows all the rules of inference. Here are few additional rules to deal with validity of uh, quantified statements. We have learned for a formula to be logically equivalent, its by implication should be a tautology. Or I can say A implies B and B implies A. Then I can say A is equivalent to B. We have seen in the last video that for all R or I, is not equivalent to for all r or for all i. This is because uh, if we take this as a and this as b, a does not imply b, but b implies a. Therefore, it's not equivalent. We could write this as for all r or for all i logically implies for all r or i. So this is a valid statement, but not equivalent. On the same lines, there exist R and I, logically implies uh, there exist R and there exist I. You can test it. Some are rich and intelligent. But the other way around is not correct. Some are rich and some are intelligent. Does not imply some are both rich and intelligent. So it's not equivalent, but we can say this is logically valid. This is the most important one many times asked directly in the gate exam. For all R implies I, logically implies for all R implies for all I, which can be read as uh, every rich person is intelligent and this means if all are rich, then all are intelligent. Here is a question asked in gate 1992. Which of the following predicate uh, calculus statements is are valid. Once we glance the options, we can make out that first one is in the standard form. So that's the answer. Suppose we have two variables in a predicate function, something like x is taller than y. We can write this as t uh, x comma y. And we can express this predicate in quantifiers as follows for all x, for all y, t, x and y, for all y, for all x, t, x, y and so on, so on. So eight possible cases. Now let's make a flowchart to memorize the validity and equivalence with them. I remember this in this way. This implies this, this implies this and so on. And these are equivalent and these are equivalent. No need to uh, go too much into this. Just fix this in your brain till the exam. Now let's move on to the important topic, inferring statements. Remember this blindly. Whenever you see some, it means conjunction and every means implication. Here is an example. This is a question asked in gate 2004. Identify the correct translation into logical notation of the following assertion. Some boys in the class are taller than all the girls. Some boys. So boys should be attached with existential quantifier and conjunction operator. And all girls. So girls should be tagged with implication. Combining both, we can make out only option D is appropriate. Here is a question asked in gate 2014. The correct formula for the sentence, not all rainy days are cold. We can write the sentence as negate for all rain implies cold. And when we simplify it, uh, it becomes this. That's option D. If you're not able to get the idea of which law is applicable, then you can test from options. Just write the sentences. Uh, for each option. This is 
every day it rains and it's not cold every day if it does not rain then it is cold some days if it's not raining then it's cold some days it rains and it's not cold now make the judgment by your conscious we can see option d perfectly matches so while solving inferring statements check if any laws are applicable else use your common sense and i'm sure you can find the answer